warming up and exploring the beam. Before we get started, we are going to warm up. Like with any gymnastics activity, this is really important. So I'm going to ask these gymnasts to jump over the beam. Over here, we're going to jump side to side, and over here, we're going to go front to back. Have a go at both of these activities. Brilliant. This is really good for getting familiar with this beam. Okay, now we're going to stand sideways on the beam and we're going to jump our feet on and off, so facing each other. Feet apart, feet together, off you go. Okay, now they're putting the same foot in front each time. Let's see if they can swap the feet that go in front. Lovely, make sure you stay on that beam, keep coming forwards, brilliant. Very nice. Okay, there's lots of different things that you can do for this to raise the pulse. That's just a couple of examples. Don't forget to look at our other editions of DVDs and books so that you can see more warm-up activities. They don't all have to be done on the beam, they can be done on the floor. We're going to do a few stretches for you. So if you'd like to face forwards, you two, and we're going to circle our arms backwards, bringing them right past our ears. So as we go past, we want that arm to come right past our ear and sweep past it. Very nice. Not only do we want you to go forwards, let's have a go, sorry, you're going backwards. Not only do we want to go backwards, we would like to go forwards. Well done, really nice. Excellent, and if they're really clever, one arm can go one way, one arm can go the other. Wonderful, really nice. Okay, so let's have a little think about stretching our legs. Have your legs apart, girls. Make them even wider. Wide, 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 wide. Wonderful. So you at home want lovely wide legs. And then we're going to lunge down towards one leg, keeping one leg straight and the other leg bent. And point that foot along the beam. Point it. Good. Always looking for good posture and stretch legs. OK, switch sides. Point the other foot. Very nice. Let's see if we can raise our arms. Very nice. OK, keeping those legs apart. Can you reach down and touch the beam? When you're doing this activity, you really want to push those legs backwards and try and relax down towards the beam. Very nice. And the same activity with your feet together. Good, stretching down. Really wonderful. Now we've given you a few examples of warm-up stretches, but you need to do lots. You need to do this for at least five to 10 minutes before you start in the beam. Right, we're going to move on. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to get familiar with the beam. Now you need to do this, you need to do it lots before you move on to the trickier skills. So, I'd like you to see if you can put your elbow to the beam. Can you do this without falling off? Can you get your nose to the beam? Can we balance on our bottoms and our tummies? Lovely. Good. Can you have a go at bringing your arms to the side as you do that? Very good. Making our nice arch shape. Lovely. Now, can we have a dish? And could you lie flat on the, back, on the beam? So we've got a lovely dish shape here, squeezing her tummy, pointing her toes. And just here, we're getting familiar again with this beam, feeling it on our back so that we can feel it for other activities. Very nice. Now, I'd like you to both stand up and let's have a go at pointing our feet. So can you, can, you touch the toe, can you touch the beam with your toe and can you touch the beam with your heel? Good. Really stretch those toes up to the ceiling. And can we swap? Very good. And swap. And swap. Wonderful. Practice this at home. Now, can you tap the side of the beam with your foot? And tap the other side. And again. And again. And can you swap feet? Very nice. Like I said before, make sure you do lots of this before you move on to the more challenging skills. 